and the death toll from the Siaya tanker tragedy is now at 17. This is after two more people succumbed to injuries at the Siaya County Referral Hospital. Earlier today, DNA specialists took samples from relatives of those who died in the inferno to establish their identity. A senior reporter, Sharon Baranga, has been following up on this and has filed the following report. At the Yala Sub-County Hospital, relatives of those who died in the Siaya Tanka tragedy had their samples taken from them for DNA tests to help in the identity of those who are burnt beyond recognition. The exercise was conducted by DNA specialists from the government chemist. Atujaweka kwa sababu atujapata maiti. Atuwezi kupanga na atujapata maiti yetu. Kwa sababu wengine ni jivu, wengine ni skulls tu. Amekua kifanya kazi kwa biti. Amekua kilisha familia yake. Hata hivi alikuwa na mtoto na find from one. Hatu juu venye tutafanya. Juu ya ndiyo alikuwa tegemeo kwa hiyo familia. Hata fute wakule na watoto wake. Na mzepi ya. Zasa tunomba tusirikali kama nezengia kati. Hawezi kusaidia umtoto. Endelea na masumu yake. Leo hapa tuko kufanya DNA. Ili ni juwe. Hii ni mwili ya mtoto yangu kweli ndiyo naenda nayo kusika. Ndiyo mwana hiko hapa. Wacha watoto wadogo na vile hata ishi sita hata mimi sijui. Kwa mba tu saidizi ni pate venye naza mzika uyo. Uyo bibiangu anaitwa Morena Kenyi. The death toll from the tragedy has now risen to 17. This is after two people succumbed to their injuries at the Siaya County Referral Hospital. And I've already uh, instructed my, the, the committee that deals with the disaster to make sure that um, uh, whatever charges that are supposed to be uh, made against these people is waived by the hostel 100% simply because uh, apart from us feeling the pinch that we have lost the people, it is something that uh, uh, goes down in history that uh, these people could not, be, could not have been prepared to even pay the bills and it would not be good to weigh them down with the bills again. Meanwhile, Malanga residents in Siaya County have expressed fear that more people could have perished following the tanker fire tragedy. 22 people with varying degrees of burns continue to receive treatment at the Siaya County Referral Hospital, Inuka and Yala Sub-County Hospitals. The accident took place along the Kisumu-Busia Highway. A majority of those who are caught up in the inferno rushed to the scene of the accident to siphon fuel from the tanker. Sharon Baranga, TV 47.